Hi there, welcome to Kerry Shaves. Nice to see you. Uh, how's it going in your part of the world? Is it still very, very hot? It's uh, a little bit cooler here and it's been raining. <sighs> we moan, us Scots and Brits moan when it's raining and then when the sun comes out and it's too hot, we moan some more. <laughs> yeah, just uh, that's just what we're like. Okay, uh, looking forward to today's shave. In a way, um, I'm using the Yaki slant razor that they sent me over recently um, and this type of head on it like that with a closed comb at the bottom here and the open comb at the top double open comb at the top uh, they have a uh, not a slant but they have the same kind of head it's called uh, the beast and it's quite aggressive so i'm thinking this will be an aggressive shave um, i put this on the this is a yaki handle this is a a handle called the Grace Diamond Grace Diamond Twinkle handle. Uh, it's a similar colour to the head, but um, let me just show you the slant on this if you can see it. Can you see how that's twisted like that? Yeah. Uh, I'll just turn it around. You can really see it there. Look, it's uh, and you can see I've put a little another little plastic washer under there. It seems to be working on the razors. Yeah. So there's there's the slant. There's the slant there, but it also. It also um, twists the blade as well, which you can hopefully see there. So um, the blade I'm going to be putting in that is uh, now someone called Taliga One. Taliga One uh, asked for me to use the slant razor uh, and also to put a Nasset blade in it. So here is the Nasset blades. At least I'll just get one out of the pack. Oh, it's the last one. Last one in that pack. Um, yeah, the Nasset blade is my favourite blade. Um, what will it be like in this razor? I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> but it will be fine. There's the blade there. So I shall just put that on there. Like so. Yeah, and if you can see this... Uh, I don't know if Yaki have changed the top cap. But it has these little uh, lips at the side now. And when you put the blade on, I'm just uh, going to mind my fingers here. Yeah, look, the, uh, the whole blade's covered. Yeah, there's not, not going to be any overhang. I'm not sure whether it's just on the slant or on other razors. Okay, so there's the bottom piece on. I'll just put this little plastic washer on here and I shall screw the handle on and you should hear the blade torquing no, he didn't wow, that's uh, that looks like some <laughs> exposure there, doesn't it? look at that yeah, that looks, uh, that looks like a, a beast of a beast but we shall see how it shaves it might be okay, it might not be We'll give it a go. Okay, the soap I'm going to be using, uh, this was very kindly sent to me by Martin uh, a while back. I've not used it yet, so thank you very much, Martin. It's uh, Wickham's 1912 Scottish Heather. Uh, and the notes on this, uh, top notes are green grass and anise. Uh, middle notes are hyssop, thyme and cedar. And the base notes are oak and moss. Not oak moss, oak and moss. And it's, uh, if you're wondering, Scottish Heather isn't the name of... Uh, a bonnie lassie called Heather from Scotland. Um, Scottish Heather is what grows on the hills and the mountains in Scotland. It's a plant, it's a kind of wild plant. Uh, it has a nice scent, it's a nice floral scent, which is what this is. Um, yeah, there's the soap there. Great soap base. So that's what I'm going to be using. Uh, the brush is the Cadman, Mervyn Cadman Synthetic. Um, Mervyn's been off the scene a little while making brushes. I don't know if he's still making brushes, but um, here's the handle here. This is a 30mm silk smoke knot, which is a synthetic knot, very soft. Nice little chunky brush. Okay, let's uh, wet the brush in the water. Give it a couple of shakes and we'll start loading. So how are you all doing? How have you been yet? I'm kind of looking forward to the shave, but I'm a little bit apprehensive as well because um, I'm not used to 
I'm not used to um, aggressive razors, you know, so I don't know how it's going to be. <laughs> but we shall see. Oh, this is loading up nicely. Yeah, I know Wickham's soap base is good. It's a vegetal soap. All Wickham's soaps are. Uh, so I know it's going to be good soap. Right, okay. I think that's enough in the brush. Very pasty looking. I'll just wet my face. Yeah, I'm not going to use a pre-shave or anything like that. I'm just going to use what I have here and test this razor out. I'm expecting this to be aggressive, but in saying that, it might not be. So just applying that lather from the tub as a, a pre-shave. Thank you so much for uh, all the comments in the last video. I've uh, kind of up to date with them all, hopefully, more or less. This is an excellent brush. Yeah, as you know, um, or if you don't know, uh, Wickham soap can take a lot of water. Just dipping the tips again. A little bit more. Yeah, so um, when I made the video with the Yaki razors, a lot of people seem to like the uh, the camouflage one. Uh, which I will use. I'll maybe try and use it out in the field. <laughs> what kind of field do you mean, Kev? You out in the field? What, the potato field? What, a raspberry field? A strawberry field? No, because strawberry fields are forever. Right, Shavathon? <laughs> Sorry, I'll, I'll just explain that joke. Um, strawberry fields forever. Beatles song. Shavathon, who um, I'm sure a lot of you guys know from here, is a big um, Beatles fan. He loves the Beatles, as do lots of people. Just dipping your tips once more. Okay, that looks a good lather. Alright, let's just get some heat in this blade. And see, how, <laughs> see how we fare with this uh, beast of a beast of a twist of a slant. From Yaki, the new Yaki slant head. Yeah, that's totally, um, yeah, you can see that the, the, the bottom cap there is slightly less than the top cap, but it's covered the whole blade, there's no overhang there, look. So, okay, let's uh, see how this shaves. Yeah, it's aggressive. <laughs> Yeah, you can really feel the blade and uh, it's weird, it feels, um, it feels smooth but it's very aggressive if you like aggressive razors. Maybe the uh, maybe the NASA blades helping.
Yeah, razors like this, um, they really do test your uh, technique. Yeah, I'm just going to take my time here. But if aggressive razors are your thing, look at that. Twist and shout. Another Beatles reference, that's great, well done. Very careful down this bit, this little trouble spot that I have. Yeah, I know that the uh, the yucky beast head is uh, aggressive. So that's basically taking that head, putting a twist and a slant on it. Uh, and kind of torque in the blade like that, you can see it, you can really see it there. Okay, first pass done. Oh, that's a shave over. <laughs> no, but there's a little bit there. Let me rinse, we'll come back for pass number two. Okay, rinsed off. Let's go back to this brush. Yeah, the nice scent on this, it's a, it's like a, it's like a floral green herby scent. Scottish heather. Oh, the Scottish hills, covered in heather. I just made that song up. <laughs> you see this video get taken down. Uh, copyright issues, um, someone else has sang that song. Hector McHector, back in 1973. Hector McHector from Inverness sang that song back in 1973. You've infringed YouTube's copyright. Oh, the hills in Scotland with the heather, hi, harum. They've made it into soap for shaving your face. Shaving your face. If you've gone, I uh, don't blame you. <laughs> okay. Let's go with it. the second pass with this. Beast of a beast of a beast. It's weird, it feels, um, it feels aggressive, but it feels smooth at the same time. have there would be more blade feel well the blades basically <laughs> you're basically cutting there is a little bit of a guard here on the bottom um, Yeah, it really does um, test your technique. If you apply any pressure with this, it will bite. the angle and um, 
Although this is Although this is kind of, I'm trying to make a torqued shape, torqued. Although it is a, it is a slant, and you can see how it's twisted. You can see how it's twisted. There. Um, you just shave with it regular. It just, it just, uh, it just seems to find the angle. There's a couple of weepers here. Yeah, it just seems to uh, find the angle for you. Slant razors are, by nature, a little bit more aggressive. Um, you put a twist on it as well and it makes it even more so, especially with a uh, style head. Okay, second pass is done. I ah, a little look, a little dot there. Okay, um, I'll be back for pass number three. <laughs> There's not really much left at all. Okay, let me rinse and come back. Okay, back for third pass. Just gonna dip that under the water there. This is a nice brush as well. Yeah, I've not seen anything from uh, Mervyn Cadman for a while. I don't know if he's still making brushes or not. I hope so. I've got a good covering for this uh, against the green pasta. Did I see blood there? Maybe it's uh, that bit on my nose. There's maybe a bit under there. Right, okay. Here we go. Against the growth with this. Yeah, there's a little bit of blood there. And there. Okay, do I go against the grain of my moustache? Let's go for it. Yeah, um, you can really feel it kind of tugging there because it's so aggressive. I'm just going to be uh, really careful around this little neck. Just let you guys see.
Feels good. Okay, yeah, there's a couple of spots here. But they're just, uh, they're not really cut. Just little weepers. I'm going to, um, I'm going to use the Allen block. See what the feedback's like. See how um, rough it has been. To be fair, I've been very conscious of uh, not applying any pressure, which you should always do anyway, but um, it's weird because the more aggressive the razor, the more you have to kind of concentrate and sometimes it makes for a better shave. Whereas if you get a razor that you're used to and you just throw it about, um, Sometimes it makes you get a little bit more nicks and stuff like that. Okay, let's have a little rinse to see if there's anything needed to be picked up. Clean. 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 One little bit there. And there. And there. Just on the neck. Usual spots. It's very gentle here. Very gentle. That's got it. One little bit there. Just gonna apply some lather. So I'm not taking any chances with this, this razor. Right. Feels good. Oh, one little bit there. Okay, calling it there. Let's rinse and then I'll go for the album. Right, here we go. Sweat that. Nothing. Yeah, a little bit there. Nothing. Yeah, a little bit down here. And there where these two little dots are. Yeah, it feels quite rough down this side. Not much stinging, but... And there's a little bit up here. But apart from that, not too bad. I'll just hold it on this little bit here. It's, uh, there was a little nick there, so and some of that's just run out of my mouth. <coughs> that's horrible. <laughs> if you've ever tasted alum in your mouth, it's horrible. Okay, that's good. Okay, what I'll do is I'll let this sit, then I'll rinse it off, then I'll have a little face wash with the remainder of this. I'll clean out the rest of my gear and I'll see you for the post shave. And, just a moment or two, so I shall see you then. Boy oh boy, that is one close shave. Okay, let's just go uh, straight to the splash. I didn't have anything to match this uh, Scottish Heather, but I've got this, which is um, Paco Robane, which is a kind of green Fougere type scent. Um, close enough, so let's have a good Look at that. See what the burn's like. Yeah, good burn. It's not as bad because I've already used alum. Uh, I can feel it here. I 
looks nice. Yeah, it's a nice scent, Paco Roban. Uh, it's an old school classic. There you go, Paco Roban, pour, pour it on. Uh, and finish it off, again, Martin sent me this. Uh, so thank you, Martin. It's the Wickham's 1912 Scottish Heather Soothing Post Shave Balm. Has a little stopper in here, which you just take out. I only need that much. Yeah, Wickham Balms are amongst my favourites. Yeah, it smells exactly like the soap. A green Scottish Heather type scent. <laughs> yeah, Wickham's Balms are really good. They leave your, um, leave your face feeling really silky smooth after the shave. Okay, and there we have it. Let me just uh, get this get this back together. Come on. Okay, that's the shave done. What do you think? Pretty close. Pretty close. One little weeper there. That thing hasn't opened up again, which is good. But um, yeah, I thought there'd be a lot more um, with the aggressiveness, the gr 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 aggressiveness of that razor. Okay, let me show you what I've used today. Soap, uh, sent to me by Martin. Thank you very much, Martin. Really appreciate your kindness, generosity. Uh, Wickham's Soap Company, 1912 Scottish Heather. Nice soap, nice scent. It's a green floral type scent, quite herby, but very nice. It, um, if you're Scottish, you'll know what I'm talking about. It does. It, it smells like Scottish Heather. Um, not that tramp girl called Heather who lives over that way that smells. <laughs> this smells like the hills. Very good. Uh, the brush was the Mervyn Cadman 30mm Silk Smoke Knot. Uh, yeah, very good. There's Mervyn's coin in the bottom. Uh, nice little brush, really chunky, great to hold, good weight to it, love it. Uh, okay, the razor, the blade was a Gillette Nasset, which I have the box here. Last one in that pack, so I can go. Um, okay, here's the razor. This was the Yaki slant head, uh, and I put it on this. This is a Yaki handle, this is the Grace Diamond Twinkle handle. Well, here it is here. Uh, as you can see, it's slant and a twist on it too. Um, and I'm not sure if these heads are all like that from Yaki now, uh, where they cover the, cover the whole blade, which is quite a good thing, I really like that. But if you like aggressive razors, like the R41, like the Merker Future, this would be right up your street. Um, yeah, you can see the amount of blade exposure there. Yeah, it is aggressive. It does really test your um, technique. Definitely not one for beginners. Um, but what's the what's the level of aggression? I would say it's <laughs> I would say it's up there with the R forty one. Definitely, uh, if you like the R forty one, you would love this. Um, as I say, a slant with a, a twist as well. A yaki just I think yaki call it the slant head. So it's their take on it. But give me a good shave. Did I enjoy it? It was okay. I used it for the video purposes, showing you good people. I probably wouldn't use it again in a hurry. If I had a few days growth, yes, I definitely would use it. Would it be a daily driver for me? No, uh, definitely not. It's, it's, I'm leaning more towards uh, smoother razors now, less aggressive. Uh, this is probably a, about a nine, and a 9 out of 10 for aggression. But if that's your thing, great, go for it. It would be uh, fantastic. It's really well made, well built. Um, shaves great, as you can see, but this uh, this soft Scottish hide <laughs> isn't quite used to uh, razors like this. I'd, I'd, personally, I'd much rather use a, a smoother razor, but it's everybody's choice. As we always say in shaving, your mileage may vary. So that was the uh, that was the razor. Yeah, nicely built, looks great, looks absolutely. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, okay, we use the Allen block 
after that. And then we used soap that was left in the brush. Uh, had a little face wash with that after we rinsed the arm off. Post shave was Paco Rabanne Pour Homme. And we finished it off with the Wickham's 1912 Scottish Heather Soothing Post Shave Balm. And there we have it. Yeah, very, very close shave. Skin feels great now with that Wickham's Balm. Really nice. There's a couple little dots, but um, they're nothing to write home about. Uh, okay, that's the review of the, the Yaki Slant. <laughs> What's that supposed to be? <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, if, if you like aggressive razors, this will be definitely, definitely one for you. Um, it was good to try. There you go. Uh, shave is done. Was it enjoyable? Yeah, it was. It was a shave. It's close, there's not really any irritation. A little bit with the Allen blog, but that sort of thing's out. Right, okay, I'm gonna let you go. I shall see you in the next uh, video when it'll be. Who knows, who knows, who knows, who knows? Um, see you then, enjoy yourselves. Uh, look after loved ones and take care. See ya.